First of all, let me welcome uh, the media here today um, for this uh, 2015 Spoke Alarm Blitz. And I would like to uh, recognize our councilman, um, Sam Davis, uh, for being here with us, um, Reverend um, Dix, also Josh Strauss from the State Fire Marshal's Office, uh, my command staff, and uh, uh, Deputy Chief Tinsley, um, our Fire Marshal Adams, and Division Chief uh, Wright. I um, didn't miss anybody. Um, first of all, we're here to talk about today to talk about saving lives. And this smoke alarm bliss would just would do just that. Our first priority as a fire department is always to prevent fires. That's our number one priority. However, when fires do occur, we want people to have the opportunity to be able to escape flames and the smoke condition that, that a fire will um, emit. And the first line of defense is always a smoke detector. So tomorrow, beginning at 9 a.m., uh, we'll be in the Stanish community actually going door to door to install smoke, smoke alarms. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be going door to door. And this is a collaborative effort um, between um, the City of Columbia Fire Department, um, the State Fire Marshal's Office, uh, Red Cross, um, also Firehouse Subs, and also um, Chick fil A at Five Points. And we, we are very excited um, to have this, this partnership uh, with them. This was a grant that was given through the Homeland Security from the State Fire, Fire Marshal's Office to us. So, and we are one of 10 communities in the state that actually um, is taking part in this list. So there'll be others doing it as well. So I think some have already done. Uh, we received about 400 smoke alarms. So we'll be canvassing that area out there um, in Standish Acres. And also we received about 160 um, carbon monoxide detectors. So uh, the main thing is, is to make sure we have people out there protected. We know a lot of people out there uh, can't afford smoke alarms. We make sure that we can get them installed because we think it's very important um, that people have this type of protection. Um, what I like to do is, is because what we're doing, the area that we're actually going to be canvassing is District 1, which is represented by um, the Honorable Sam Davis, and I would like to call him for, for some comments. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Uh, we really want to uh, thank the fire department and uh, all of its partners uh, for this initiative. It's, um, it's, it's very timely, and we know that it, it's, it's very important. Uh, of late, you've noticed that um, we've had a number of not just house fires, but we've experienced some fatalities. And the effort today is to uh, not just minimize that, but hopefully uh, through the educational process that goes along with this, um, we can eliminate uh, fatalities in, uh, in homes as well as, as businesses. Um, the educational component, we think, is the, uh, the number one, uh, it's, it's really the number one strategy we have to, to make sure that every household um, not only has a fire alarm, but, but the process of maintenance, checking, and the annual uh, exchange uh, is, is something that, that uh, I think will go a long way to assist these guys. They respond when the bell rings, but uh, also uh, there's a partnership with, um, with the citizens, and that is to make sure that we all take the first steps to uh, help to protect ourselves and at the same time um, to pass on that education to, to young people as well. We really don't want to lose uh, any lives, but also, you know, the, the children of this community are very precious and we need to do everything that we can to ensure that they have a basis of awareness when it comes to fire safety and fire prevention. So um, we 
hope that um, <clears throat> we will go a long way. We, we want to see more sponsors, more partners uh, join in on this effort. And I'm sure that um, the best fire department in the country uh, will continue to take the lead in this process. So thank you, and we appreciate it. <clears throat> Again, we, want, we really want to emphasize that we want to thank our partners, um, the Office of State Fire Marshals, um, Greater St. Luke Baptist Church, and one thing that they are doing is we're actually going to be use their facility as our command post. Um, while we're out there canvassing the neighborhood uh, to put these um, smoke, smoke alarms in. The American Red Cross, Charles DeVito, Firehouse Subs, on it, and Chick-fil-A, um, five points. Um, again, we picked this area because, the reason why we picked it, because of National Fire Incident Reporting System data, social vulnerability in that score, and also, as you know, we had a couple of fire fatalities out in that area, so we wanted to pick that area um, to do this blitz and, and, and just get the word out. Appreciate the media come out because it's very important for you all to be a part of us as well. We thank you all because that's how we really get the message out. We can go out all day long, but if you put it out, I, I think that goes a long way. So we really appreciate um, you you guys being here. Um, Fire Marshal, you need the same thing? Um, I think you said it all. Um, okay. <clears throat> Josh. Reverend. Just from the faith community, uh, we'd like to thank the Columbia Fire Department and its partners for what it's doing in this area. Uh, as Chief has said, uh, there are a lot of uh, underprivileged persons in this particular area that would not otherwise be able to afford uh, the smoke alarms that's so very important for uh, getting someone out of a house in the early stages of a fire. And again, uh, we salute the Columbia Fire Department and their partners for what they're doing in our community to save lives and protect property. Again, um, thank you all for coming out. And one thing I also do want to make mention is, uh, while this is a smoke alarm bliss, this is not the beginning of what we do to make sure that lives are saved out there as far as getting smoke detection to people, smoke alarms to people, I'm sorry, I keep throwing that word out there. Um, we do have a smoke alarm program where if people need one, they can call us um, at 803-545-3700, and we'll be more than happy to, while supplies last, um, get a smoke alarm out to you not only will we provide one to the citizens out there, but if they can't install them, we actually install them for them. Um, this smoke alarm bliss got a lot of partners along with it. We'll have several teams out there tomorrow going around knocking on doors and also um, installing these smoke alarms. We started this campaign off a few days ago by going around hanging door hangers on, on residents, announcing what we're going to be doing. So. We've already started this campaign. This is just a press conference for today. So again, um, I always remember, this is one of your most important assets that you can have in your home. Um, this, 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 is, this is life insurance at its cheapest. So again, thank you all for being here. And if you have any questions, we, any one of us would be glad to answer any questions. Or if you need any individual interviews, we'd be glad to do that as well. How many years have been doing this? How many years has this program been going on? Uh, well, as far as the um, fire department, we've been doing this um, for a while, but this particular uh, smoke alarm has been going on for about two years. And how many are you planning on giving out? Well, we have 400 uh, smoke alarms. Now, we know we're not going to hit 400 residents. Um, there may be some residents that may require two or three um, alarms in them, so we're going to be out there, hopefully, um, to get rid of all of them, um, if possible. Uh, I think we got about, how many teams we got about? Uh, 11 teams. 11 teams of three right. that's going to be out there canvassing the neighborhood, so hopefully we can get, get them installed. Our goal is to get in at least over 100 tomorrow. How is each house picked? 
Well, what we do, we, we canvass the neighborhood, knock on doors, and we find out if they need a smoke alarm. Now, they may have one smoke alarm, but if they just have one, maybe they need an, an additional. So what we're doing, that'll be up to our um, teams when they go knock on doors to decide on what the needs are. Anything else? Okay. Well, thank you all for coming. Good.